It's Mike here from Hunter Tech Support. Today I'll be showing you how to program the Node Controller. The Node Controller is a battery operated controller that offers the same programming capabilities as an AC controller. But the added advantage is that you can install these types of controllers in areas where having access to electricity is a challenge. Because the Node is battery operated, it requires the use of DC latching solenoids. The DC latching solenoid comes with the Node 100 but they are purchased separately for all other node models. We are going to show you how to set the current time and day, set the program start times, program station run times, and assign days to water to the program. We will also briefly discuss other features of the controller and how you can apply these. Each program requires three elements. That's start time, run time, and days to water to be complete. Before we start the programming process, let's get familiar with the functions of the buttons. As you see, the node controller starts out with a blank screen or in the sleep mode. You can use any button held down to activate the screen. Once you have the screen up, you've got six buttons to work with. The plus, minus, left arrow, right arrow, the center button that changes the screen, and the program button. We'll start out by hitting the center button. And you can see I'm using the right arrow to navigate through the different settings. You can also use the left arrow and go backwards. <clears throat> You'll use the plus or minus button to change whatever setting you have in there. Once you're done, you can use the center button to change the page or advance to the next feature. In this case, it is the start times position. The center button then takes us to the runtime position. Once again, you can use the plus or minus to change the value. When you're done, use the center button to advance to the days of the week feature, the season adjust, the off position, and the center button brings you back finally to the home screen which shows the current time of day where you want to leave it for automatic operation. The first step in programming any controller is to set the current date and time. To set the current time and day on the node, start by hitting the center button, and that brings you to the year. You'll use the right arrow to scroll through the choices, the year, the month, the day, the AM, PM mode, at any time, you'll use the plus or minus to adjust whatever is flashing. The right arrow brings us over to the hour. The right arrow brings us over to the minutes. Once again, the plus or minus to adjust whatever is flashing. Then use the right arrow to come back to the year that you've already set. That means you've completed the current date and time. Then you can use the center button to scroll through all the screens, past the season adjust, past the off screen, and back to the home screen for automatic operation. Once the current date and time are set, we can now enter a program. A program is a group of stations that will share the same schedule. Therefore, if all your stations have the same schedule, then you only need to use one program. But if some zones require to be watered more or less frequently than others, then you will need to separate them into different programs according to their watering requirements. For example, you may have a couple of newly seeded zones that might require everyday watering two times per day. And you may also have other established zones with fruit trees that may not require to be watered every day, but only once a week. In such case, you will need to distribute your zones into two separate programs, A and B, for instance. Each of these programs will need to have their own start times, run times, and days to water. To adjust the start time in the node, you'll use the center button to go to the second feature, it shows start time one for program A. Remember, these start times are for the program, not the station. We'll set start time one by holding the plus button down, and we'll put him at 5 a.m. There's a second, third, and fourth start time available, and the right arrow brings you back to the first, but we'll go to the second start time, and from the off position, use the minus and go backwards to 7 p.m. So now we have start time two at seven. There's a total of four start times for the program. These are not the stations, these are the program start times. To get rid of the start time, simply land on the start time you want to delete. And in 7 p.m., we'll use the plus to go up towards 11.45 p.m. And just before midnight, it'll say off. It only says it before midnight, not 12 in the middle of the day. Now we've deleted start time two. We can use the center button to scroll back to the home screen knowing we only have one start time at 5 a.m. The next step is to assign run times to the stations. Now you'll only want to assign minutes to the stations in that program that have all the same watering day requirements. If some of the stations have different requirements and they're on a different program, 
you'll leave the runtime for those stations blank in the first program and give them time in the other program. To change the station runtime, we'll use the center button to scroll past the start time screen to the station runtime. As you can see, we're still in program A. Station 1 is flashing. I'll use the plus button to put 10 minutes on for station 1. And as you can see, we're still in program A. I can use the right arrow to go to station 2. This is a two station node. The right arrow brings us to the total runtime for that program. And then the right arrow brings us back to station 1. Once station 1 has the runtime and we're finished, we'll use the center button to scroll through past the off screen and back to the home screen. The final step is to set the days to water. You can choose from selecting specific days to water, such as Monday, Wednesday, Friday. You can also choose an odd or an even mode. The odd days, of course, being 1357 and the even days 2468. The final mode to choose from is called interval mode. So you can select a number, say 10, which means it'll water every 10 days. To set the days of the week to water with the node, we'll use the center button to scroll through the pages until we get to the water days showing. For right now, we'll use the right arrow and scroll across. When we get to Wednesday, if we don't want water, we'll use the minus. It automatically jumps over to Thursday, and we can say plus for yes or minus for no. The cursor does advance as you go along. And when you get over to odd, for example, or when you get to the last day of the week with the right arrow, you can hit the right arrow once more and odd is showing we can hit plus and even will hit minus which means we'll be watering odd days. Once you've finished simply use the center button to scroll back to the home screen. The other option here is to use the left arrow and scroll backwards to the first day of the week and then use the left arrow again to go into the interval mode. That number there represents how many days it will take before the water is applied again. So every eighth day or every ninth day or every tenth day. If you want to get out of interval mode, use the left arrow and it brings you back over to the seven day mode. To set a separate program up, we'll use the center button to go to the first of the three ingredients, which is start time. It shows here this is start time two for program A, as you can see. We'll use the left arrow to go back to start time one and hit the program button one time. Now we're in program B, so we'll use start time one, program B, for 9 p.m. The right arrow to start time two, three, and four is in the off position. So we have the one start time only for program B. We hit the center button to change the page. We're still in program B. We're going to give station two runtime only. Station one lives over in program A. So the right arrow to two, We'll use the plus button to go up to about 10 minutes. Then we'll use the center button to go to the third ingredient, which is the water days. We're still in program B, as you can see in the top of the screen. And on program B, we're going to only have it come on minus, minus, plus on Wednesday, minus on Thursday, minus on Friday, minus on Saturday, minus on Sunday. So only Wednesday is a water day for program B. Now we use the center button, scroll through to the season adjust. That's for the entire controller, by the way. Center button to the off screen and center button back to the home screen. Now we have programs A and B both active. Now that our controller is fully programmed, let's talk about seasonal adjustment. Another feature in the node controller is season adjust. You'll find that by pressing the center button all the way through, past days to water to the percentage. You'll want to start your programming at 100% when you set your station run times. Then after the fact, you can simply go to Season Adjust and reduce it down to, say, 50%, which cuts all your run times in half. It's a very easy one-stop setting to adjust all the stations on the controller. Once you have the desired percentage, use the center button to go past the off screen, then back to the home screen. So next, I'll show you how to put the controller into the off mode. Right now the controller is in the home screen showing the current time of day. If for some reason you want to put the controller to the off mode, use the center button to advance to the off screen. Once you see off in the screen and you let it go to sleep in that position, the controller will not turn on automatically. It will officially be in the rain off mode. At any time you can bring this display back up, 
use the center button to scroll to the home screen which shows the current time of day and if left there to go to sleep it will be in the automatic mode. Like all hunter controllers the node allows you to turn on stations manually. To start a station manually from the node controller simply hold down the right arrow to enter the manual mode. Once there you can use the right arrow to advance through the various stations that you want to turn on. When landing on the desired station it counts down and fires the zone and you'll see in the top left the flashing sprinkler icon. Do be aware that during the time the station is running the display will go to sleep and go blank. To turn the station off simply use the center button to scroll all the way through to the off screen and it will turn off that zone. Then you can advance from there to the home screen. So once again, hold the right arrow down, get the desired station, counts down 10, 9, 8, 7 backwards, and the station is running as notated by the sprinkler icon in the top left corner. <laughs>